Midnight Solar E Panel 125 AL Plus for Outback Inverter Charger. Live here at the command center of the JW Solar USA. Like I said yesterday on the video, so today I'm going to show you how we're going to mount the E panel on the command center so you guys can see how the inverter is going to sit on top of this device and let's go about it and bring down the the FX3048 MT made by Outback. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe live from the channel JW Solar USA live in Minnesota. As you guys have seen, this is the Outback that is going to be coming down and we're going to be doing on installation. We on, on install this device while we're going to be bringing the e-panel is going to be up there. And from there, we're going to put the Outback on top of the e-panel and that's how it's going to stay. And we're going to do all the wiring. Stay tuned, like and subscribe. Live from Minnesota, JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, as you guys seen, I'm going to unscrew the um, the bolts from the uh, charge controller, or from the inverter, sorry. So we go from there, and you will see what's going to happen. Stay tuned. All right, we're in the process of taking things apart, and this is the uh, aux plug for the turbo fan. Get this thing, and we get rid of this cover right away. And we have to come now to these by pushing the uh, flat screwdriver from here and you take this cover out and come back here and do the same thing. That's the easiest way out. So these are the terminals. So that's the uh, outback right here. So we are going to get disconnected all these wires. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. All right, guys, we're taking out all the the outputs and inputs electrical cables, and some of these things already been for a while. They tend to hold really tight, and you don't want a loose connection because it's gonna cause arcing. And you end up, you know, losing power and overheating stuff. All the connections that are getting so hot. So we want to make sure it is tight. This is how it comes to when you have a torque wrench, then you can able to, you know, rate it exactly according to how many pounds you you can um, torque this uh, particular nuts bolt and nuts so you do right so one is out and get this guy out that's it thanks for watching bye for now all right guys the inverter is out now you guys can see i'm gonna take that box out as well so i can have all the clearance i can do my installation stay tuned all right, now you see, um, I've already taken out the box, which is the Flexware DC 500, Flexware, Outback Flexware DC 500, right there, it used to be right there. I'm taking it out. I'm gonna be putting the, uh, the E-panel, then see how it fits right there. Stay tuned. Look at this, look at this hunk. It's a big boy. Get all your connection in and everything. That's the R back. It's a FM80 on it, so I'm gonna be utilizing that. Alright guys, this is the setup here, and um, this is what we're gonna be utilizing for the box right there. So you can see this is the odd back. This is the most the greatest outback I was talking about all the time. This is the FX 3048 MT. Guys, you can see right here. Right there. Okay, look at that. 
42 to 68 volts. People were always asking me, why are you running a high voltage? This is the thing. Right there. Outback can do it. My Outback can do it. From 42 to 68 volt. There you go. Now you've seen why I always run the high voltage with my... I get some high voltage batteries to go about my stuff. Okay, so I'm running 68, 68.7, I still have space. So 68, I'm running about 66.4 or 66.7, you still have more power, a uh, reserve, so I'm not maxing this thing. So this is the, uh, the Outback FM, uh, uh, Outback fx 3048 mt this is the mobile version i just saw another one my vendor has one which um i'm thinking and if everything goes well i would like to have a second one of those so i can able to um uh, stack them or parallel them i can able to get my 240 out of them or just to give two inverters running together which makes them last longer because see, the stress is not going to just be on one it's going to be on both of them sharing stay tuned like and subscribe so it will be sitting right there on top of this okay all right guys this is how it's going to look like pretty neat huh pretty cool and this is how it's going to sit and i'm going to show you um the other thing the the flexware DC where it's gonna attach right there. Hold on. Hey guys, so this is what it is. It's gonna sit right there. Okay. Look at that beautiful, beautiful, so beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that, guys. So the cone is right here. You can see it's going to deflect the air when the, the turbo fan hits the top right here to cool the transformer. The air is going to be going through that and underneath the hole down here. Um, see that? So it's going to where the wire is going to be going and we can have a nice, um, beautiful system right here at JW Solar USA. As you guys can see, so this top is going to go, the cover is getting up here. And you got the um, the bolts gonna go through here. See on these two holes on the top, and uh, it's one down here that holds it. And uh, screw that thing all the way to the panel. And this is how it's gonna look like. Beautiful. So here is the cover uh, for the turbo fan, and this one's gonna go up here. Set this one up here. The wire goes down there. For the ox and this guy is gonna go um right like that okay let's see how he's gonna work with this there he is guys perfecto you know <laughs> it looks so cool and a lot of you guys my um outback fans we're kind of worried about everything about the outback so just like the not the magnum all the time the magnum all the time i understand i told you guys we're going to be coming when but we're going to be coming really strong and get this outback going on look at this it looks so professional it looks so cute guys tell me what you think think it's not cool really cool the outback is back in business live here at the command center of the jw solar usa you guys remember this, right? This is the one I bought to replace that was sitting here that's supposed to go to F, uh, the Flexware 500. Well, this is the Flexware 500 DC, and there's the, the outback um, charge controller, the FM80. So this guy used to be on the bottom of this guy here. Look at the one that replaced it now. Looks so cool. And this one is designed for it to be just like that and is designed to attach right from this hole right here see that and snap it snaps right there so that's how the inverter they're gonna attach when you have 
two of these inverters on this box so you can able to attach one and one underneath so you can have the inverters uh, running um, horizontal or vertical and guys this is what it is there's another big one here for you have this one on the DC side both inverters gonna be like they sitting you know uh, parallel so that's how they run you attach the other one it's gonna be probably like on the wall like that like this another one back so let's go or um horizontal so this is how you attach the stuff so the AC one is gonna just look just like this but it's gonna be on the other side here that's gonna be attaching all the wiring system on the other side here to take the AC out to this similar box like this yeah the same similar one but it's gonna be on the other side here so that setup is gonna be on my next install where I'm gonna be utilizing these boxes instead of this so this one since it's a single mount for just one inverter I'm gonna use this one that's why I decided to get the uh, the e panel to mount on this thing I can able to open this door sliding it it goes on the left the door is going to be sliding open this way the inverter is going to be attaching there so it has like a wing stuff like here like a door inch so this one's I, I'm really um, surprised these things are really tough you know to hold on the hat back inverter that's even heavier than this so guys this is what it is and uh, we don't have to go through a lot of stuff oh sorry um, the other stuff, the conduit, the black ones are inside the box. So this is where they have to come and attach. They sent me a brand new one of these. So I can run them right here and get it right here. So the wire is going to be all covered. You're not going to see any kind of flimsy wires hanging around. So from here, attach. And, uh, you know, you can take this one and attach it right here. You can take this one and attach it right here. This one for the temperature sensor and the... the um, the mate the wire is gonna go in there and that's a wing that's supposed to be on the other side and uh, this is what it is voila guys we're all gonna be done soon and we're gonna see all these guys gonna be up and running look at the old system look how big it is look at the comparison make a comparison how big that thing is let me show you how the um, flex max 80 is gonna attach on that corner right there stay tuned so right now we're taking the uh, the flex work, the flex max six eighty sorry the flex max eighty I have a sixty as well so we're gonna take this one off and um, attach it right there stay tuned see the provision right there all the knockout so the hole is gonna attach gonna get right there all right guys well this is how it looks like. The Flex Max 80 is already in commission right there. So the only thing or the only complaint I have about these I don't like. And guys, I have to point it out. If this inverter is in progress or is working, okay? And what happened, guys? This inverter tend to be really hot, warm. Especially when it's uh, charging. My concern is, I know it's a cast metal, cast iron, they have into the, um, on the outback, both of them. But, you know, there's a vent on the corner right here, this thing's supposed to be sucking air for cooling system. But, it's attached very close to the body of this, and uh, you tend to have some kind of heat transfer. And the heat transfer is gonna, you know, it's trying to dissipate some heat, and likewise, this stuff is gonna get warm. The charge controller, so you can see the holes right there. Um, I don't like the other, the other thing I don't like here, the holes are not um, here at the top, so I don't want to drill no hole on this e panel. The hole is right underneath there. So remember this thing is designed for Outback and Magnum as well. So that's one of the things I don't like. That's my complaint I have 
for this device stay tuned all right guys this is what it is and uh i'll find a way that that bout back is attaching hanging here now so it's not gonna flip and fall and uh being said that and got this cover here so let's see a clear uh looks into the outback power system by the jw solo usa like and subscribe our back hey i've done it again uh you guys see what i've done here outback so i'm with you guys and um this is cool you know i promise you guys i'm gonna do this and eventually everything is done and um i told you my viewers i said we're not get, we're gonna get this done it's just a matter of time it's gonna get done and it's done i have so much projects on my hands so i gotta make sure i started reducing all that stress and that's it take care